Found another life pod. Oh, shoot. Oh, exchange power source R. Um, sure. Shoot. How are we gonna get back? We don't have batteries and spooky music is playing. This is it. This is pod 17. Well, it looks like they didn't see moth fragment. Yes, please. That's part of that big submarine, I think. Oh, whoa, I like just unlocked it. Okay, I definitely want to make one of those. Hello, this is Flying Squirrel back in Subnautica, and, well, um, the Aurora blew up last time, and it is sunset, and we are getting a radio message, so let's just get right into this and play it. This is Avery Quinn of Trading Ship Sunbeam. Aurora, do you read? Over. Nothing but vacuum. These Altera ships. They run low on engine grease, they send an SOS, you offer to help, they don't pick up. Aurora, I'm out on the far side of the system. It's gonna take more than a week to reach your position. Do you still need our assistance? Over. I'll try them again tomorrow. Damn charter's gonna have us blowing our credits running errands for Altera. See what the long range scans pick up in the meantime? All right, well, that's potential rescue. That, I, I want to, well, I guess you can't check that out, but, um, yeah, it sounds like potential rescue. I like that. So, what I'm going to do this episode is I'm going to go check out, yeah, these, like, life pods, strand near a cave system and under attack. I'm going to go check these out. It might be, like, my death because it says under attack and I'm not really armed at all, but I'm just gonna go do it, I'm gonna go check it out, and in the meantime, scan some stuff, um, but, actually, speaking of scanning, I'm going to scan this, cause that, that looks interesting, scan it, okay, advanced theories, I didn't actually scan it, it didn't let me, oh dear, oh yeah, we got the sea glide last time, and I am a big fan of it, it makes you go way faster and it makes exploration a lot easier and it's a lot harder to drown now so yeah great it, it, I like it here's this little biome I guess uh, I like this place it's pretty all right um how far is this oh dear it's in a cave system isn't it or wait this is it this is pod 17. Well, it looks like they didn't see moth fragment. Yes, please. That's part of that big submarine, I think. Oh, whoa. I, like, just unlocked it. Okay, I definitely want to make one of those. I'm sure this is going to be... Um... Ooh, land of PDA. That's going to be... That's going to be hard to make, is what I was trying to say before I got interrupted. Anyways, um... I'm gonna go back down there and check out more stuff and I probably won't be uploading the next week since um, I'm going to be um, on a trip I'm gonna be away um, I might be collaborating with uh, the copywriting infringing vigilante possibly though so that I mean during that week so that that will be cool if that does happen so yeah, I'm just going to stay towards the surface so I can go up. Or I think we can use this on the surface. I can. I like it under the water more. And I also found out there is this thing called color grading. It's what it sounds like, color grading. There's neutral, filmic, which I like, but it's probably too dark for YouTube and off. You know, I'm going to try out filmic because I think it looks really cool. But again, um, tell me... In the comments, please, if this is too dark, or if you don't like it, or just any suggestions in general, I would greatly appreciate. Because I want to do what the viewers want to see. In general, that is an unfriendly saying thing, and it does make it look a lot more foreboding, I guess. Unforgiving, because it's all dark and spooky, but it looks really cool. Wait. It's a box. Mobile vehicle bay fragment, yes please. Now this, I'm gonna go explore. And limestone, yes. That is what gets you 
interesting little things. Okay, I have to head up to the surface already. And I need to find quartz. Quartz, I really need to find. Like, I remember last episode, I was spending all this time, quote, looking for quartz, so I wasn't really, I guess, getting off topic, I should say. So, we're gonna do that, maybe. Also, limestone outcrop, because they have copper, and copper is very helpful. You didn't like everything. Sandstone outcrop. That's silver, which is also helpful. Okay, this looks spooky. I'm kind of, I'm kind of. I mean, even with this film, like the color grading does look extra spooky. It's very dark. Quartz. Anywhere? It appears there is. I'm pretty sure that there actually is. And if you're watching up to this point, um. First of all, thank you, but, um, probably are saying, like, oh, wait, you missed some. Just grab all this and go. Skedaddle. Alright, um, no quartz yet, but, I mean, found some other cool stuff, so I'm happy about that. Well, that's one of those fish that laugh at you. Come at me. See, it laughs and shoots toxic things. What's this? Looks like another creep. It's an acid mushroom. Scanning it. There we go. That'll probably help us. I mean, certainly won't hurt. Salt deposit inventory is full, darn it. Oh, this is nice. Oh, that doesn't sound nice. Whatever the heck that was. No, thank you. I see a thing and I would like to scan it. Oh, shoot. There's one right there. Jeez Louise. Good thing you guys aren't very fast. Not gonna catch me, unless you do. That's what was attacking them, wasn't it? Yeah, stalkers. And I'm sure, oh, I, I am sure, like, I, I've seen that there's a lot, a lot, um, I guess, way more, um, uh, hostile things in this ocean, like leviathans and stuff. Very unfriendly sounding things. Open data box. Yes, please. Compass. Nice. So yeah, there was humans on this planet, or they probably came off when I did, and they just weren't so lucky because they landed in in this place that landed where all these stalkers were and other unfriendly creatures. <coughs> and, um, excuse me if I do have a, a rough voice, I'm recovering from, like, being sick, so, yeah. Alright, actually, what life pod number are we? Isn't it, like, um, 13 or 7 or something like that? I don't know, we'll see. This, I've already, this is, yeah, I lose this at, like, the very beginning. Yeah, I remember that. Or maybe I'm going crazy, I don't know. Yeah, this is the least hostile area. There's all, only things are those little gas-shooting, laughing fish and, uh, cave sulfur fish. Alright, um, what am I doing here? can make some stuff. Compass. Oh, yeah. Um, copper wire. Yeah. Yes, please. We'll make comp compass. That would help, probably. Uh, where'd you go? Displace compass hitting on the HUD. Yes, please. That sounds... That sounds nice. Um, beacon. Um, I'm gonna save my copper. That would be helpful, but I'm saving my copper. Because copper, it's common, but it's very helpful and valuable. Right, we have one glass. Whoops. I need to find more quartz so I can make more glass, which means caves. Good thing there are caves here. Caves also means um, fish that are spooky. Yeah, like that. Goodbye. Except for you can't really hurt me when I have this thing too slow. And look, look what I found here. No thank you. 
Look how slow he is. Scrub. Alright. And it goes deeper. And there's course, so yes, yes. Yes. Extended air seconds. tank is coming my way. Nice. Alright, more limestone. Why didn't I look here earlier? Like, this cave is very nice. Um. Looks like it's empty, I guess. Alright, okay. Oh, shoot, oxygen. Yeah, about that. I don't feel like dying. Good thing. I mean, I'd be dead if I didn't have the sea glide, so. Like how it starts blacking out and covering the lag spike there. Alright, um, you know, I think I'm able to make this, um, the tank. Alrighty, let's see. Um, first of all, glass. Yes. Thank you. Um, yeah, let's make it all into glass. I don't really know, as of now, what else to do with it, so... Yes! High-capacity CO2 tank. That will be very helpful. Look at that. Yes, please. Do I have fins? Let's see. Um... Yes, I do have fins. Alright. High-capacity CO2 tank. Um... Gonna put that one in the slot. There we go. 90 seconds. That one's 30 seconds. That's definitely high capacity compared to the last one. So we're gonna be able to do lots of exploration. Also, we got this radiation suit last time. So that's nice. What do I do with this now? Uh, wrong button. Used to hitting escape. So that's like what a lot of games have. Can I just kind of dispose of it or what? Because it's taking up a lot of inventory space and I'm probably gonna need that but I might need the tank later as well so let's actually I'll look at the data bank later because that's not exactly entertaining so I'm just gonna go right back down and not really sure yet what to do I'm gonna scan some things I'm gonna scan this guy over here gas a pod it's making weird noises spazzing out Scan it! Yay! I didn't get hurt. So. Nice. It seems very. very, um. humored. Alright. Um. Yeah, I've already been through here, so I'm gonna just go explore. I'm gonna look for. new things and. try to get materials, I guess, um, let's see here, nothing too exciting, you know, where are those life pods, um, I, I need to find one of those, alright, just got some nice screenshot action, you will be seeing that in the thumbnail, um, and I've used up a lot of my oxygen, so, Gonna head to the surface, just gonna go go find places and um, new experiences and probably not come back alive. So yeah, fun times. You may have noticed that I turned off the color grading for the screenshot. Turned it back on. It's really, really quite dark. I think, is the sun setting or something? Cause it's like, I know it's dark, but it's not that dark. It's kind of starting to set, but geez Louise. Yeah, I'm, t I'm turning the color grading off because it's too dark. Um, once again, looks nice. Um, gameplay and YouTube-wise, not really going to happen. So, anyways, let's keep going. And I love this extended air tank. It is amazing. Oh, yeah, I want to stay away from the grass because that's where things will jump out and attack you. <coughs> Sorry. All right. Yeah, that, that thing, that cloud of dust, that's, I want to stay away from them. Oh, I found her, we found her, whatever, we found another life pod. Oh, shoot. Oh, exchange power source R. Um, sure. Shoot, how are we going to get back? We don't have batteries and spooky music is playing. 
Not a fan. Nothing to see here, apparently. Huh. Is I gonna jump out and, like, kill me in a second now? Thank goodness this didn't happen to my pod. Exchange power source. Um. Previous. Yeah. Charge 0%. That's the battery that was in there. Oh, shoot. Get out of here. What is going on? What the heck was that? We're too deep. Alright. This is learning a lesson. This is learning that, um, you pack supplies for your journey. See? It's a learning experience. We're not by any means professional, but... Oh, actually, we're not that far away from our pod. But yeah, it's a learning experience. Okay. Also, I'm... I like the sea glide and the air tank since I can you know, keep the commentary and stuff, and the action going without having, you know, constantly go to the surface. Um, so, I'm, it's all around a good thing. Oh, I can turn this off. Nice. I'm staying at the surface. Um, yeah, I'm gonna just kind of do a jump cut, I guess, to when I'm at this pod, because, or maybe I'll just fill the time with some, some conversation. No, I'm gonna cut. And three, two, one, boom. I was wrong about both of the pod numbers. It's actually five. But we're here, and it's, it's not destroyed like all those other ones. And I will take that med kit. And now I'm going to make some batteries. Okay, acid mushrooms. I have some of those. Kind of was stocking up. Um... I can just always get some more, though, because they're literally everywhere. Rebreather. Conserves oxygen when diving deeper, absorbs, and recycles CO2 into breathable air. Yes, please. And fiber mesh and wiring kit. That's not that hard to make. No, that's really not that hard at all. Awesome, yeah. I think I might be able to make that now. Alright, there's one battery. I'll be making more in the future. And deploy deployables. Where's the Seamoth? Um, oh, mobile vehicle bay. I think that's what you need to make it. I see. Alright. Do we have silver in here? No, we have lead. We have one silver. We have one battery. Um, We have the copper. Or actually, you don't even need copper for a wiring kit. Yeah, two, so I need two silver... And the fiber mesh is creep vine sample times two. Alright. So. We're gonna charge this up. Boom. Nice. Okay, um. Let's go find some silver, maybe. I mean, it's a bit dark, but. I have a weird thing on my chest. Um. What is that? There's like a little graph or something. Anyways, um, I'm gonna go find some silver, some creep vine, that shouldn't be, silver will be a little bit of a challenge, creep vine, that'll be easy, and jeez louise, it is dark, so, I'm gonna go, yeah, do that, and we'll see what happens, and it's dark. Which way is the creep vine? Oh yeah, I do have the compass. I should have been using the compass. It's like, this is... Where we go? Oh, there it is. So it's, I guess, north-northeast. Give me that creep vine. Yeah. I only need two. Okay. Creep vine down, silver left. And if I can find another cool cave... um. With all the limestone and sandstone in it, that would be great. Like this right here, I think. Yeah, this looks pretty promising. Oh yeah, we need these acid mushrooms. There we go. Um, what is that? That's kind of cool. Um, hmm. Gold just laying on the ground. Yes, please. Not quite what I'm looking for, but still helpful. Oh, I'll take it. Titanium just floating in the air. Um, I don't need titanium. Titanium's in abundance, like, everywhere. Well, there's silver that cave.
good thing there is plenty more to come. Plenty more caves. Alright. Ooh, quartz. Didn't even need to go very deep to find the quartz. Um, drop one of those. Um, yeah, I just need space for one silver. Copper. No, I'm taking that because copper is very helpful. This isn't too hard to get, and we're at 12 seconds. I'm gonna Oxygen. go. Alright, we'll get that later. Good thing we are very close to the surface. We recharge our sea glide. Okay. <laughs> I think you can only find it in sandstone outcrops. I'm going for the, um, the fields, I guess. Yeah, they're fields. <laughs> um, I thought I found some sandstone over there. That should be helpful. You know, I wonder what the climate is supposed to be here. Like, is it tropical? Is, like, if there was a landmass? I, there is landmass in this game, apparently. Um, small landmass, but is it like kind of arid and deserty? But the water's sort of tropical, I guess. Or, or I mean, it could even be temperate or something. I mean, with all the you know creep vine or kelp forests like they have in like the Pacific Northwest or like New Zealand and places, but I don't know. I think it's tropical, though. Floater. Like jellyfish. Cool. Alright, we're in the plains. Fields. Whatever you want to call it. Sandy place that's, um, does, it's probably the friendliest looking place on this planet I've seen so far, so. And home to sandstone. Lead. Silver, yes! We did it. Silver is here. And I don't know what to draw. Sin silicone fiber, because that's really easy to get. Yes, alright. Let's head back to that life pod. Get some new stuff. And that will be it for the episode once that is done. You know, it would be cool if it, like, rained and stuff in this game. Maybe they'll add that in the future, or maybe it does and it just hasn't happened yet. Alright. Let's do that. Electronics wiring kit, yes please. Basic materials, fiber mesh. Yes please. Rebreather. Yes, alright, we did it. We got the rebreather. Now does that um Hmm. Am I gonna start taking radiation damage? Um if that, you know, if I don't have this helmet on, that's a little concerning. I'm gonna, titanium so easy to find, I'm just gonna drop it and make room for higher priority materials. No, 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 I want that silicone rubber is good. Okay. And plus it's, um, we'll just be at the, um, bottom of the ocean underneath our life pods so we can just go and grab it. Actually, you can make storage lockers. Why haven't I been doing that? Yeah, waterproof locker. Titanium times four. That's what we do with all this material. Ha, huh, I feel... It's just, I'm knowing my place. I am not very experienced. <laughs> and this does not sink easily. We have to actually deploy the storage locker gun. Alright, let's just do that, like, at the surface here. Um, do I just... Oh, cool. Storage, nice. That's where we'll store our low-priority building materials, and... Just our... I guess our low-priority stuff in general. Um, 
Let's go down here and grab our titanium. That's everything, isn't it? Okay. Decided to wrap up the episode once I made the mask, but this, um, this should be done. Alright. Anyways. Just end the episode. Um, this was a good episode. Got a lot done. Um, got some new items. Found some new things. It's fun to record. Hopefully you enjoyed. If you did, um, leave a like and please consider subscribing. Thank you for watching and goodbye. Thank you.